Oh, they were tremendous in the ring, and and you know it 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 wasn't a situation where. With the Rock and Roll Express, you had Ricky Morton, who was always the guy that sold, and you had Robert Gibson, yep. who was always the guy that made the comeback, and that was what they were better with, and 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 it worked for them. But with with Bobby and Tommy, they were more similar, and they could, you could each one of them could sell their ass off. Yep. And I, you know, I Bobby Fulton's been one of my friends since way before I got into, into business, and and you know he was an underneath guy, and I was a photographer, and he used to ride with with me and my mom because he didn't have, you know, he was an underneath wrestler back in those days and didn't have the money to get to the towns. But, um, you know, Tommy was more athletic. I always joked to Bobby, I said, Bobby, you don't weigh but two hundred and ten pounds every time that I have to wrestle. I I pick Tommy up, he goes right up, and you're the heaviest guys in Bruiser Brody. I can't slam you to save my life, but. They were great workers and great athletes, and and actually, as far as um, <laughs> as far as as technically having a, being great workers, they were better athletic workers and 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 had better teamwork than the Rock and Roll Express. It's just that the the Rock and Roll had had Ricky's incredible selling and had Robert's comebacks and, and they got places first. So they got the, the lion's share of the notoriety and we made a lot, a lot more money with them. But I would say the midnight and fantastics matches technically and in the ring were even better than the midnight and the rock and roll matches. And that's not, you know, not downgrading anybody, just stating a fact. Hey, fantastics was, never got their due. Where was Tommy Rogers and Bobby Fulton from? Because you said you was uh, childhood for, or friends from back before the business. Where was Bobby Fulton from? Bobby, uh, Bobby's from Chillicothe, Ohio, and he started working at the time. They didn't call it independent wrestling; they called it outlaw wrestling. Right. It wasn't. It wasn't the 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 recognized territory in the area. But he started as an outlaw wrestler when he was 16 years old, I guess, and 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 worked, you know, in in that cap- capacity for three or four years till finally he got a spot with uh, Jerry Jarrett in, in the Memphis territory and. Tommy Rogers uh, also actually was, I believe he's originally from Florida. He lives out in Hawaii now, so he's smarter than all What's of us. What's he doing out there? Um, sitting on the beach, as far as I know, man. You know, uh, his his work caught up with him for a while. I believe he had a hip replacement, and uh, he hadn't wrestled in quite a while. But but Tommy was from Florida, and he got into business uh, in the early 80s. And Bobby had been uh, wrestling since he was a teenager in the late 70s, and you know, Bobby and Tommy Rogers were not the original Fantastics. Now, here's a little trivia for you. Great. Um, what happened was Bobby Fulton was working in Memphis when uh, uh, Bill Dundee lost one of his power plays with Jerry Lawler. Lawler took the book, and, and Dundee had to go away for a while. And Jerry Jarrett had been talking to Ole Anderson down in Georgia. And all these Georgia towns were on it on their ass. This was 1983 because they were concentrating on their northern tours in Ohio and Michigan off of TBS. And so anyway, Ole made a deal with Jerry Jarrett. Send me a crew down to Atlanta, and they're gonna they're gonna run my Georgia towns. We'll we'll do a studio TV in Chattanooga, and they'll run Chattanooga and Knoxville and Augusta and Macon and you know all the Georgia towns, right? Columbus. And um, so uh, the fab- the fabulous ones, Stan Lane and Steve Kern, were such a hot team. God the damn, they were a great Memphis. tag team too, yeah. Oh, they were tremendous, and they'd gotten over so well that, that uh, basically uh, Jerry sent uh, Bill Dundee down to be the booker and sent Bobby Fulton and Terry Taylor down to be the fantastic ones, ah. which was a rip off of the fabulous ones, ah. <laughs> and sent me down to be the top manager. I was all of nine months in the business. I'm going to be the top heel manager, and I'm going to manage the angel Frank Morrell and Norman Frederick Charles III, who was an old royal kangaroo, hadn't wrestled in several years, but was an old friend of Dundee's from Australia, and Jerry Lawler's cousin Carl Fergie. And uh, the bounty hunter, Jerry Novak, that was the heel crew. And we had Coco Ware for a little while and Steve-O and a few guys. And, and I've, you know, we, we – and actually, it was great. We did tremendous business. In six weeks, we doubled the houses from nothing to next to nothing. <laughs> 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 and then finally, Ole came in one day. We were shooting promos at TBS for this, this off-brand fucking circuit. And Ole came in. 
And it's, it's the only, it, actually the, the, the first time I'd ever been fired, but I didn't feel like that I was fired because his exact quote was, don't do this anymore. And Dundee said, what, you mean the promos? He said, no, the whole territory. <laughs> <laughs> he closed the whole territory down after six weeks and said, this was a bad idea. But when you took a bunch of guys that, that the Georgia fans had never heard of, and all of a sudden, they replaced the Georgia wrestling superstars with this little studio TV taped in front of 30 fans in Chattanooga at Channel 3. Uh, you know, it, it, that's what you got. So, But it was a great experience, learning experience for me, uh, only being nine months in the business and, and only having worked Memphis to go down and be the top guy. I was, I was, the, I was the, the top heel manager in a phone booth. And it was great experience. And 